Center, the Bears, the Firebirds in game four of the Calder Cup Finals. Hershey looking to even the series in front of a sold out crowd on home ice. They look for back to back wins after putting up five in game three and getting themselves right back in this third. Well, the Bears beat them two times on four tries. McMichael is Snively. Hershey looking to draw first blood in game four. Really, that comes loose. Becchione, he scores! Mike Becchione off the stein and on the scoreboard. The Bears strike on the power play. It's 1-0 Hershey. Bex didn't want to be left out from all the fun in game three. Ethan Frank. Joe Snively and Mike Vecchioni now off the schneid, like you said, in perfect position. Nice decision to go right to the net. Mason Morelli, who's always making things happen in traffic in front. Vecchioni down to the right knee and over the shoulder of Joey Decord. The center, the Firebirds in the white sweaters. Will rush it free over the blue line. Left wing to Shane Wright. Flips it to the middle. Great pass, a shot, score. What a feed by Wright. Austin Paganski from the right side. On Coachella Valley's second shot. Paganski's got his second of the playoffs. We're tied at one. Saw basically the same thing from Wright in the last game, except he went from the right side of the ice all the way across to the left. And look at his stop. Realizes where his teammate is. Threads the needle. And a super finish from Paganski. Vecchioni winding up on top of the pile and feeding it to the front. Morgs to right side. Day looks towards the head across. Vecchioni, he scores! What a feed! And Mike Vecchioni's got two! The Bears back in front. It's 2 1 Chocolate Town! What a feed across the ice, as you mentioned, Zach, from Logan Day. Vecchioni gets rid of it, but then he just slips himself right into perfect position. Right in front. I mean, there was nothing the court could do to get back there. On the pair. Back behind the goal of the near boards. Ethan Frank out of Western Michigan. Signed as an unrestricted free agent. He's got in the slot. Right wing shoots. It scores! A rocket from Ethan Frank. That's goals in two straight. 5.36 left in the second. It's 3-1 Bears. It's amazing how you get one and the net all of a sudden opens up. As a goal scorer, when you're in a drought, all you see is goalie. When you break the seal, all you see is net. Ethan Frank, dangerous with the wrister, finds some open net and gives the Bears a two goal advantage. They worked him out of there immediately. Sunner with a good hit. The puck is back behind the goal. The Firebirds wrap it in front. Frodin shoots, scores, falling over. What a goal for Jesper Frodin. It's 3-2 with 12.59 to play. Frodin escapes. He's got his fifth of the playoffs. And it's a one-goal game. When you're up by two, playing good team defense, it's going to take spectacular individual efforts at times to come back into the game. Frodin. Created some traffic in front before. And then look at this. He sees the man come around the backside. Sam Annis on the chase. Lucas Johansson ties him up for a brief moment and gets just enough to get it over top. Hunter Shepard, who was laid out trying to get the puck as he came around. Stick down at center. Dumped in. Carlson defending left wing to the line. McCormick. Five to go. Left side. Podorowski blocked by McElrath. Centered in front. Saved by Shepard. And the Bears win. The Bears win a 3-2 final. Hershey takes game number four. A sensational defensive effort. This series is tied at two, and we're headed back to California. Game six will be necessary.